Hey everyone, Paolo here, so welcome to my channel where I make how to videos from Mac tips, backend stuff, Swift, Salesforce, and game development. So in this video, we're going to learn how to edit your C Sharp files and have autocomplete on them using Visual Studio for Mac. So I have Unity open here. I'm going to describe what the problem is. And I also have Visual Studio code. So when I create a project, I'm going to create using Apple Silicon version so that it's a bit faster and i say how to ps and create a project cool so i have uh, the unity open here and when i create a new c sharp file Let's say demo and double click on that. It opens up in Visual Studio Code. Now, the problem with opening in Visual Studio Code is when I type any of the objects, it's not auto completing. So, in order to fix this, a better way is to actually understand what's happened behind the background. So if I go under installs here and I select um, this editor that I downloaded, you would see that under dev tools, Visual Studio for Mac is already installed. So we could actually use that in editing our C-sharp files. So if I go under Unity here, go under preferences and go under external tools, then under external script editor, Instead of selecting open by file extension, select Visual Studio for Mac. So just doing that, uh, close the setting and double click on uh, that C sharp file. And as you can see, it's opening up in Visual Studio, not the Visual Studio code. So the Visual Studio editor is a bit, what I say, bigger than and not that as lightweight but with here, you don't need to install additional software because the .NET SDK is already uh, installed along. If I say transform here, yep. So you can see the auto and I say uh, plus equals vector tree up and multiply that by F. Save, you can see it's uh, working well. It's auto completing. Um, and I can close that out, go back to my uh, editor, and if I add an object on my screen, uh, let me just see if it's in, yep, and you put that script on your object, if I go to that object, you'll see the demo script is now attached to that object, if I play the script, uh, if I play the game, you would see that it's now moving up because there's some script written on that um, update. So there you go. Quick and easy way on editing your uh, C Sharp files with autocomplete. Hope you like this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you like more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.